Hello folks and welcome to another video here in the Microsoft Sim. The first uh, video post world update number seven for yours truly. The uh, world update number seven of course taking uh, Australia to the next level here in this sim and I for one am uh, absolutely chuffed and chomping at the bit to get some flying done here in my uh, my native land. Folks, we're in the TBM 930 today. Um, I do love flying this aeroplane. And uh, we are in Australia, uh, which is kind of handy considering I just talked up world update number seven. Uh, folks, we're in a place called Townsville. Uh, Townsville's in uh, North Queensland, kind of on the east coast, northeast side of the country. We'll show you where that is in a minute. Um, and it's one of the airports that have got the uh, a bit of a makeover. The... Uh, the default airport was, yeah, a little bit bland, and Asobo have given it the uh, the treatment, or their treatment at least. So it's not payware quality, um, but it is uh, significantly enhanced. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of these airports that they've done that too, um, like a hundred or something of them, isn't there? Something like that. Um, so thank you to the developers uh, as part of World Update Seven for 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 looking at some of these uh, some of these strips. Um, so we're going to start our journey in Townsville, uh, and we're going to end up in uh, a place called, uh, well, the airport's now known as the Whitsunday Coast Airport. I knew it as Proserpine. Let me show you where we are and where we're going, folks. All right, folks, here we are in Google My Maps, and just a bit of a warning, folks, there are lots of dogs barking uh, today in, uh, in this neighbourhood, including my own. This will uh, likely feature a bit of background noise, folks. We've got a bit of flying to do. I don't think it'll be a long video, but um, it is a dog-friendly channel. If you if you want pure uh, production sound quality and you know all of reality removed, this is not the channel for you, folks. Um, I've got to fly with the with the environment and the conditions that I'm given. So the journey begins in Townsville, as I mentioned. <clears throat> Apologies, my uh, and there we go. We've got some we've got some barking activity already. Townsville. First stop's going to be Air down the road, town of Air. Uh, then we're going down to Bowen, then we're going across a beautiful place called Hamilton Island, or Hamo, as the locals call it, and then we're going to duck back across and end up uh, in a place called the Whitsunday Coast Airport, which, as I said in the intro, I knew as Proserpine. And, and I do this sometimes, folks. When I, when I say I knew it as, it's when I was flying, right? And it used to be called Proserpine. <laughs> at least to my recollection. Well, they've since na renamed some of these airports. Um, another one that we might fly to uh, in a future video is, is down northern New South Wales, uh, a place called Ballina. Well, it's now known as the uh, Ballina Byron Airport. Well, for me, it's always going to be Ballina. I'm a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a traditionalist in that sense. But that's the journey. It's a bit of a milk run. FS Economy is driving this, folks. We're going to make some coin delivering some passengers from Townsville uh, down to Air, and then we're going to take some from Air down to Bowen, and then we've got some from Bowen down to the Hamo, and then we've got, I think, a couple of passengers coming across, and maybe a bit of freight that want to come across to the Whitsunday Coast. So it's a beautiful part of the world, folks. The um, the Great Barrier Reef sort of stretches from the from the tip of the the Cape there all the way down the coasts, kind of. Look, I'm not entirely sure where the Great Barrier Reef, where the delineation is, but I've always considered it basically, it kind of begins off Bundaberg, it's sort of the, from Fraser Island up, we consider it the Great Barrier Reef. That's that's my interpretation anyway, a, uh, a purist might see it uh, otherwise. But beautiful part of the world, and uh, we're going to explore a whole lot more of this country, folks, in future videos. Um... Queensland will get a little bit of attention. It, it is my my home state. I can talk with, uh, I was going to say with some authority, but that's not true. I can talk with some experience, <laughs> having spent some, the majority of my life uh, in and around uh, this state. Um, but we will cover, uh, we'll try and get to every state and territory. How's that? That's the plan. Jude and I are going to, uh, we're going to get around and... <laughs> Lord knows, Jude likes to get around. Anyway, folks, that's the plan for today. Four-leg FS economy journey. Let's get started out of Townsville. So, on board, folks. About six hours after I filmed that last segment, <laughs> we get to go flying. Life, folks, life. Most important button press 
it's your make on a flight at least for me Jude how are you lovely welcome aboard so lots of new stuff here in Australia Jude but absolutely nothing new about you because after all how can you improve on perfection is that what you wrote in the script did I read that out correctly folks let's do this thing let's go for a fly yeah life gets in the way folks <laughs> sometimes six hours later um what else do we need to worry about we need to worry about shutting betty up we'll do that the starter can come on let's do this thing local barrow set 2962 we have ignition We have fool being introduced and a fool on board in the left hand seat, as always. Uh, yeah, we'll be going VFR today. Uh, PFD, flight plan wise, gonna go direct air, which is this one. Yeah, small town, probably about 10,000 people or something like that. Uh, named after uh, its namesake in Scotland, I believe it was the hometown of. Some old fart at some point. Get into taxi mode. Get our bleed on to auto and our two heaters on over here. Come upstairs. Taxi light, nav light, everything else is good. Don't need oxy. Uh, I'll taxi out that direction, Jude. Runway 19, I'm guessing. What does our Medar say? Do we have Medars operational here? We do. Zero five at eight. That doesn't that doesn't lend itself to a departure of one nine, Jude. Where are you getting your information? Fake news, Jude. Are hey, you watching one of those dodgy channels? Runway one and zero one it is then folks. That's alright. Bit of a longer taxi for us. Though, parking brake can come off. Do this thing, we'll get some motion happening. Full right boot. Around the corner we go. And we'll head down towards runway 01, maybe an intersection departure, I think. An FS economy journey in front of us, folks. Looking forward to picking up some virtual dollars. And uh, improving our bank balance. FS economy is going through uh, a pretty major change. Uh, I think it's planned for this weekend, a major server overhaul. Which hopefully will uh, reintroduce the ability for new players to join the game. If I understand correctly, that's that's one of the objectives. Uh, that is that is sorely needed, in my humble opinion. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be down for an indeterminate period of time. So, uh, yeah, if you're an FS Economy user and you haven't checked the uh, the forums of late, I just gave you the heads up. Go and check the forums for details. So four flights to do today, if life doesn't get in the way again. Highly likely that it will. Overhauled airport, as I mentioned. Nicely done, a Sobo. Not payware quality, but um, a nice improvement. We appreciate it. We've got four bespoke airports that have been built for this uh, world update. We're going to check all four of those out in uh, upcoming videos, folks. We've also got a whole bunch of new bush trips and discovery flights and all that sort of stuff. What's Dopey doing here? What are you doing, mate? What are you waiting for? Don't know what's going on. Flaps are set, now he gets moving. Mate, you want to get out of my way? Just cross. What are you doing, mate? Just keep going. Um, lights can come on and strobies are on. We'll line up 01 Townsville. Wind is a nor'easterly, eight knots according to the Medar. So heading bugger lines, uh, put an altitude selector in. We're going down in an easterly direction. Uh, we'll go three and a half thousand plan VFR. I think the clouds should allow us to get to three and a half, something like that. Jude, I'm not going to ask you for your opinion on the weather situation. You had us departing runway one nine, Jude. Um, so, barrow set, trim set, flap set, lights are on, 
Everything's good. We're pretty heavy. We're almost, I think, right at Emto, actually. Full load of packs, a little bit of freight, and a whole shitload of gas, which reminds me. <laughs> Before we go, we need to activate the FS economy thing. So let me do that, folks, and then we'll, uh, we'll restart the takeoff. And through the magic of television, here we are again. Take two, folks. FS economy client. Start of the flight. Kind of important when you're doing FS economy runs. Build that torque. Looking for about 95% on the torque. 92, 93, that's close enough. Keep it on the center line. Little headwind here, 50 knots. Everything good. Looking for a rotate of about 80. Magnetic island in front of us, folks. We are definitely heavy. Oh boy, felt every bit of that. Wow, as well as you can feel weight in the Microsoft Sim, everything feels a little bit light. Certainly these stock aircraft, even with the mods. But noticeably different than when this thing's lightly loaded. So yeah, magnetic island, I'll just drop the nose a bit, folks. Beautiful part of the world. You're fortunate enough to get the opportunity to visit. You won't be, uh, you won't be sorry. Low level right hand turn, we're not exactly climbing like a homesick angel here. And we got time. We're going to fly largely coastal as we track down towards air. Air spelt with a Y. If it was spelt with an if it was spelt with an I it'd be an interesting an interesting name for a town. Air. Hmm. Here we go. We'll fly low overhead the suburbs of the Ville. few hills around, you do need to be uh, careful of those. There we go, along the coastline. Very nice. Performance is holding up well, as I uh, wasn't expecting there to be much of an impact there in terms of performance, or nothing, nothing improved anyway. Nice and low level, almost 200 knots here. <laughs> Why not? Hey lovely, what do you reckon? Pretty good? Uh, this is the way to go, Jude. Look at that. Yeah, here we come. Folks, Jude and I are going to track uh, largely along the coast here. We'll sort of... Actually, what we'll do is we'll we'll head for that... Head for that saddle here. That'll be our... Uh, our plan anyway. Short flight. We'll get to about 3,500 feet. Stay clear of cloud if we can. Make some further views. Out over the coral sea. Yeah, beautiful. Might get Georgie to do some flying at this point. And we'll get a heading bugger line. We'll go uh, flight director, your damper, autopilot, and a little bit of heading mode. Thanks, Georgie. Looks like we've got some traffic. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit there. Should have done the whole altitude reporting thing as well. How far away is that traffic? Oh, fair way away. It's disappeared. Oh, no, it hasn't. Here it is here. He's inbound to Townsville. He's 800 feet above us. He's no threat. We're headed straight towards this gap in the hills. What can I tell you about Townsville, folks? Uh, it's a bit warm up here. Lovely part of the world to be in, uh, in winter. Summer, uh, it's warm, it's humid. Um... You get the odd cyclone or two <laughs> during the wet season. Cyclones tend to do some damage. Uh, hurricanes is how the Americans refer to cyclones. This part of the world we call them cyclones and just like the hurricanes we do name them. And there's a sort of alphabetical system that, uh, that it works through. That the, I think, do the Bureau of Meteorology name cyclone? I'm guessing that they do. The bomb. So, if we're going to remain clear of cloud, we kind of have to level out. Ah, uh, no, we're going to three and a half. Slight right deviation onto about 140 though, Georgie. It's just got a light, light southwesterly blowing us across. Three and a half thousand feet. We're in, well, we're in cloud, but we can see through it. It's alright. Close enough, three and a half thousand. 
done. We're going to be clearer terrain. Continue the cruise, folks, and uh, we'll join you for the approach into air. We've got four legs to do, and uh, I'd rather film the departures and takeoffs rather than an extended video of the cruise. So we'll see you closer to air. All right, so it didn't take us long to get to the point of uh, making an approach. I just thought I'd take a bit of a look outside for you folks. If you're wondering what uh, what the local the local trade is up here, uh, up in here, it's uh, sugar, sugar cane for the most part, and other other agriculture happens up here. Lots and lots of sugar cane fields. Beautiful patchwork there. How well is that represented? Absolutely fantastic. So jumping back inside, we're 10 miles, we need to start our descent. Let's do that. Come on down, Georgie. Direct air. Um, what are we looking at? I think runway 0119 in air, so if the wind holds up, well, the wind reflects what it was in Townsville, which is, you know, after all, just up the road. Uh, probably looking at zero one. The uh, the river, as you can see in in the distance, that's the Burdekin, and on the other side of the river is the town of Home Hill. Air itself, I, I'm guessing, is probably a a ten thousand person town, something like that. It's not not a big joint. But look how well. Yeah, the patchwork is represented here, eh? Is that an improvement over the sim as it was before World Update 7? Yeah, probably not. Well, not noticeable anyway. World Updates add a whole lot of stuff. Um, they add new airports and improved airports and points of interest, of which there's many that have been added. And we, and we might check out some of those on some of the upcoming videos. But, um, look, if, you're, if you've got the... The Microsoft Sim, and uh, you've got the World Update 7 installed, and you want to share some share some thoughts on it. Feel free to do so in the uh, in the comments, or if you'd like to suggest a potential uh, flight that you'd like to see the old mate and, and Jude do. Happy to uh, happy to take that feedback on board as well, and we'll uh, we'll make an approach here to runway zero one at air. So 1,500 feet, about three miles. There's the strip in front of us, or about 11 o'clock position now. I'm just going to position ourselves for a base of some sort, and the strip sort of down there, folks, right there. Oh, it looks like there is a cross strip. I didn't know that. Been a long time since I've been to air in a simulator. That is for sure. If ever, not sure. Certainly been to Townsville more than once. You get a little bit low here. What's the wind doing? Yeah, the wind is favouring an approach to uh, to zero one. It's handy. Lovely day in this part of the world. There's our strip. So we're flying a base. We'll call it a base anyway. Got the boots out. Got the flaps down. We'll turn, we'll turn for home. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. The colours and how well, how accurate it is. Fantastic. There'll be an airstrip somewhere over here. We're going to fly through the centre line. Sloppy. First leg, Jude. We're already showing signs of incompetence. And they will only grow as this day continues. <laughs> Took me, what, five or six hours to get back to the sim after starting. And it shows. Anyway, folks, looking for about 80. 85 over the threshold, if we can get there. We might be a little bit hot. Runway 01 here, folks. First leg of this uh, milk run. It'll have us ending up down at the Whitsunday Coast Airport. Here we go. Keep that nose up. We'll flare it. We are heavy. And I get it down. There we go. Nose wheel on, a little bit of heavy braking. Wanted to try and get off of that first turn, didn't make it. 
Unfortunately, get the flaps up as we make the turn. Mate, do a Yui back towards the ramp. We're going to go off the strip. We've got some issues with our rudder pedals. Every single time I update the sim, I have issues with my rudder pedals. Now, I checked. There wasn't. It hasn't changed me to uh, easy mode on the accessibility thing. This happens every time I update the sim. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. We're going to park here next to the fuel truck or thereabouts. I might park just behind the fuel truck. Right. The, uh, the rudder pedals feel very, very spongy. So parking brake will come on, which will trigger the FS Economy client. Flight is logged. That's fantastic. We've just dumped seven packs here in air. Folks, we'll, uh, we'll load the next lot of packs and cargo and head on our next run, which will take us down to Bowen. All right, folks. So, look, technically we should shut the engine down and all that sort of stuff. If you're a purist, what are you doing at this channel? Um, we're not going to do it. But we've got the uh, FSE Sim Connect client. I'm going to start the flight and show you what we're doing. We're taking a bunch of packs from Air down to Bowen. Um, and we're also carrying some some cargo from Townsville, which will take us. It needs to go to Hamilton Island, two kilos of that. But yeah, next stop will be will be Bowen, not too far down the road. We need to reset the flight plan, uh, flight plan options, uh, delete flight plan. Yep, which will allow us to add an origin, which is where we are. A Y R. Uh, enter. And a destination, which is Y W W uh, B W N, I should say, Bowen. That is 56 nautical miles down the road. That looks good. Uh, transponder's fine. Uh, yep. <laughs> Didn't worry about the lights. Why would we do that? Um, we'll just check our trim and all that sort of stuff. We're okay. We'll go flaps. We'll take parking brake off. Let's recently we'll check the local barrow, which is good. And away we go. Out onto runway 01. Taking off towards the ocean and then making a right hand turn. Taking up a track towards Bowen. Yeah, beautiful day here, eh? Temperature of uh, 32 degrees. And should should be carrying a little bit of humidity in that 32 as well. As uh, as I film this video, I'm in a different part of the country, a part of the country that's experiencing what uh, what they term a heat wave. It is rather warm, <laughs> um, a bit warmer than 32 to be honest. But uh, that's Australia for you, a, a land of extremes. Elsewhere in the country, it'll be probably in the low teens down in the south somewhere so rudder pedals what are we going to do I don't know what it is but the rudders feel different after a sim update I don't think anything's actually changed with the aircraft or the you know the flight model or anything I, I just cannot explain it other than to say it it happens runway 01 here here we go so, we've got a heading bug aligned. We're going to keep a rolling start here. We'll dial in 5,500 VFR. Right, and away we go, folks. Airspeed's alive. Adding some more torque. Here we go, 98% on the torque. 60 knots, 11 knots, 60 knots, about looking for that 80. Trying to keep it straight. Ooh, we're having a bit of trouble here. Go. We're airborne positive rate gear can come up. Let's go. Tracking the extended center line. Flaps can come up at this point as well. Retrim. Looking for about 500 feet AGL and we'll make the turn. Over the Burdekin River and overhead Home Hill. And then down direct to Bowen. There's 500 feet, we'll make the turn. Mm. 
your damper can come on. Five and a half thousand won't have us VFR though, will it? They're going to be in the white stuff. We might have to track down three and a half. I have to reset that, Georgie. Apologies, sir. Now, leg two. We won't make as much money on this leg, but we will be picking up some more, some more assignments once we get to Bowen, and then uh, tracking across to uh, Hamilton Island. Hamilton Island is a field that has also received the uh, the makeover treatment. There is a nice sort of custom freeware rendition of Hamilton as well, available on the TO, uh, flightsim.to. Uh, Georgia, you can do some flying, pal. Um, I have disabled that for this flight, just to give myself an opportunity to see what a Sobo have done. It actually scrolls the other way, doesn't it? There we go. We might take up a track direct Bowen from here, so we'll go Bowen direct and change nav mode, which is there. Georgie, if you want to, uh, Georgie, direct, what's happening here? Activate, might help, dumbass. Oh, folks, it feels like it's been a really long day. <laughs> My apologies, uh, for the no doubt many errors that I've made. I will cut across the bay there and head into uh, head into Bowen. What else is uh, new in the world of in the world of simulation, folks? I don't know. Has there been any releases this week so far? We're just going to scoot under the base of that cloud at three and a half, aren't we? Might even have the tail in the cloud. Yeah, I can't think of anything in terms of major new releases. Um, I featured a an aircraft, the uh, the Drifter Ultralight, in a video the other day. Ants Airplanes, Drifter Ultralight. Been enjoying that one. Um, I don't know that I'll feature it in any more videos, but uh, we had a first impressions look at that. Quite enjoy it, good fun. Um, what else? Got some flights planned here in Australia, as I may have mentioned earlier in this video. Um, I want to get around and, and really enjoy the world update numero seven, flying a variety of aircraft. Uh, we've got a new planes and trains episode in the works, a new train journey. Um, we did the Garn up through the, the centre of Australia. Well, the next one is going to take us uh, down to the south of Australia. It's going to take us between Adelaide and Melbourne on a train journey known as the Overland bit shorter than the Garn. We might do that in one video. We're going to do it in a different aircraft than what we did the Garn in. Jude was with me for that trip on the Garn. I'm afraid, Jude, that in the aircraft that I'm thinking of using, you're, you're not going to be invited. Okay? You and I, we need a break. We need to see other people. And I need to fly other aeroplanes, at least. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's coming up. Anyway, folks, uh, we are about 10 minutes away from Bowen. Nice short legs, I love it. Uh, I'll see you for the approach into that location. All right, folks, we're about uh, four minutes outside of Bowen. Just wanted to call attention to a little feature down here. That is a coal terminal called Abbott Point. I'll get a little bit difficult to see. We might have to uh, continue our journey a little bit before we see it. Um, a shitload of coal gets uh, sent out of there. Destined for uh, for Asia, my guess is China, most of it. A couple of uh, big coal terminals here on the uh, here on the east coast. You can see it there, the wharves and stuff. Um, another big one uh, being Dalrymple Bay, which is uh, down in Gladstone. May have spent some time working there just quietly. But yeah, that that one there is uh, Abbott Point. Don't ask me to tell you the tonnage that goes through there. I'm not I'm that, that, that well informed, folks. Um, but I know it's a shitload. So we'll come down to 1500 on the altitude selector. We'll start a descent, Georgie, into Bowen. Looks like we're going to be landing towards the uh, northeast, or towards the towards the east, even. I don't know what the runway orientation is here in Bowen. Can't remember. What can I tell you about Bowen? Well. 
kind of like air, I guess. It, they, they grow a bunch of uh, crops. They probably do have sugar cane here. I'm not sure. It looks a little bit... It's a little bit different though, there. I can't quite remember, but in Bowen you get a lot of um, produce. Let me let me classify it that way. I don't know what their specialty is. Can't remember. Uh, fruit, <laughs> I think. Rock melons. Rock melons, or um, what some people would know as cantaloupe. Growing up here, along with other things. Uh, we'll go heading and heading and we'll track for a left base onto whatever that runway is heading to the northeast uh, yeah I oh, look 120 is fine nice light breeze up here we'll try and keep it a nice tight base Let me approach down town of Bowen the Whit Sunday coast town of about I'm guessing it's similar size to where, maybe a little bigger? Will I be correct? If anyone uh, is from this part of the world and like to chime in and correct me on my n my numerous errors, I'm sure, uh, feel free to do so. We'll just put the brakes on here a little bit, reduce that rate of, uh, oh, a few bumps to come over the hills. Look at that. I'm guessing out in sort of this direction, they might uh, might have some cattle as well. Farm some cattle? Would I be would I be correct? I'm I'm trying to remember all these things on the on the fly, literally on the fly. Uh, your damper, we don't want that on. Uh, zoom in that a little bit. Right over over the river. Continue the approach. Town of Blowing. Blowing. <laughs> probably, probably is referred to as blowing in the when it gets wet and windy up here. Although it's pretty dry. You have a look at the let me look at the the terrain here. It looks like it's probably a pretty dry sort of joint. Is my guess. So three miles, about a thousand feet AGL. Get ourselves sorted out. track across. We're heading over into those islands folks, to one called Hamilton. It's not the biggest island. Oh, there's a field down there. <laughs> we're going to be uh, we're going to be seriously hot and high, so we're going to go into a bit of a slip. We've well and truly screwed the pooch on this one. We'll be able to take flap and gear. Yeah, we've uh, we've got, we've distracted ourselves there. Now we're sinking like a proverbial lead balloon a field somewhere here. We'll just release the slip a little bit. Come down and get ourselves into the wide arc. There we go. No one saw that. Perfectly normal approach. We'll even go to idle. Thanks Betty. Into the wide arc we'll go full flat. Runway looks like zero. What have we got? Zero four. Here in Bowen. Here we go folks. Out of the slip fully now. We are definitely hot. And we are high. And we need to bleed off some speed. So that's what we're going to do. Float her out. It's going to float for a while. A long while. We've got a long runway. We're alright. Bleeding it off. Bleeding it off. Bleeding it off. And touching on. Nose wheel down. A little bit of braking. We'll get off at this runway. Which will be here. <laughs> around the corner. Tokyo Drifter sells around. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll make our way down to uh well do we did we need to do that not that side that side the terminal's there mate well we totally messed that up we've totally messed that up all we've done is gone further and further away from the point that we wanted to be at that's all right we're going to come to the end of this runway hit the parking brake which will trigger the fs economy client and we're going to take off on this runway for our subsequent departure because we bloody well can but we're going to uh, go off the strip yep it wouldn't matter what I did <laughs> it was always going to happen that left pedal there we go folks look we set up for our next departure that's how it's done on the fly folks ah <sighs>
hiking brake set. Let's trigger the FS Economy client. There we go. We've got it registered. We'll load our next load. Load our next load. <laughs> it does the job. And then we'll head out to Hamilton uh, Island. Nice short flight, the next one. Alright, the next leg beginneth. Start flight over here in the client. What have we got? We've got some packs going from Bowen to uh, Whitsunday Coast. We've got someone going to Hamo. We've got some cargo going to Hamo. We've got some more cargo. We've got some some cat food, <laughs> which is going to end up down the Whitsunday Coast. Some more cargo and a benefactor, a PAX. So look, not a huge money spinner this one, but um, hey, we'll take what we can get. Beggars cannot be choosers. Heading bug aligned. We need to come downstairs, reset that flight plan again. Uh, delete it like that simple uh, back at origin we're going from Bowen and I'm gonna go across to Hamo so Y uh, B H and the M Hamilton Island how far is that 46 miles that sounds bloody good to me Georgie straight out mate is what we're doing we're good um, altitude selector back to three and a half thousand too easy. All right. Jude, how are you doing, love? You enjoying this? Lots of action here. Lots of uh, movements, departures and takeoffs. Hey, you like to you like to keep moving, Jude? Don't you? Jude? Yeah, I don't know why I keep looking and hoping that she's... Uh, she's going to do something different. Never works out that way. Local barrow is still 2962. Introduce the torque. Let's go. So we're going to be taking off with a bit of a tailwind. Torque set. Everything's green. Well, green enough. Airspeed's alive. We've got a flap set for landing. We don't want that. We want them set for takeoff, which is where they are now. Trim's okay. There we go. There's 80 knots. Departure. Off we go. I oh, know. Positive rate gear can come up. As we uh, didn't have much room to spare there on that runway. Flaps can come up. We're going to take a direct track to Hamo. We'll probably land runway 14 out there as well. So that'll be a nice straight in arrival. Nice quick journey here. There's our direct track, tracking the magenta. And the beautiful Whitsunday coast of Australia, folks. There's the town of Bowen. Look at that water. It just gets. Oh. Stunning as you get out onto the reef. Beautiful. So we'll go your damper on. Thanks, Georgie. Flight director, autopilot. Uh, we might even go into nav mode at this point. Georgie, just follow the magenta for us, mate. Three and a half thousand, if you can organise that. After takeoff checks, yeah, haven't done them to date. Not going to start now. I think the gear's up, isn't it? I think the flaps are up, aren't they? Yeah, good enough. We've been leaving the lights on the whole time. <laughs> Who cares? Doesn't matter. Yeah, 43 miles to go. About 13 minutes, folks. I'll see you for the approach into Hamilton Island. It's a lovely part of the world, folks. Uh, what's this? This would be Shoot Harbour Airport. This one here. Am I right? Let me jump back inside. Is that right? Shoot Harbour, if I go, uh, what can I go, uh, nearest airport, Shoot Harbour, yeah it is, Hamo's 13 miles out there folks, that's Shoot Harbour here, back outside, which is where I wanted to be originally, before I got distracted, here's the airport, look at that, a hey? beautiful coastline, with Sunday Islands folks, North Queensland, Great Barrier Reef, lovely place to be, that's really well done. Look at that. Fantastic. What a way to see it. Here in the TVM. So I don't have the photogrammetry switched on. Not yet. Although I might after world update number seven. For certain locations anyway. That I hear and that I see of... Uh, have received the treatment. Look at these beautiful beaches here, folks. 
wonderful place to uh, do a bit of bit of boating. If that's your if that's your caper. So over in Hamilton Island, I better think about a descent here. Yeah, you better think about a descent. In Hamilton Island, every year um, there's an event, um, a boating thing. What's it called? What are those boating things called, folks? Um, regattas. There's a regatta, Hamilton Island Race Week. I think it's called. Where uh, rich people race their expensive toys. This is Hamo here. We might have to um, think about now. Think about an approach, but I've got inbound traffic that looks like it's going to land three two. Okay, we might have to follow him in. He'd be there. We've got looks like we've got a cruise ship up here. All right. Kind of hoping to go straight in. That's all right. So we'll track down to the southeast of the field at 130 for now. And we'll take up a number two position behind the landing aircraft. Yes, Hamilton Island Race Week. Um, can't remember which part of the year it happens. I want to say around Easter. Would I be correct? Other Australian folks? Please feel free to correct any, any mistakes I make. Uh, I do learn a lot from uh, people issuing corrections in the comments I do appreciate it genuinely I like to I like to learn simming is all about learning for me there's Hamo it's pretty well modeled I don't know if it'll look any different with the photogrammetry grammatry even turned on it's a dirty big yacht over there some rich bastard and as I said earlier there's a yeah so there's a golf course here and the uh, there is a nice custom freeware rendition of this airport as well I don't know whether it's better than than the stock airport is now I'm not sure not sure. Have to check that out. I've got it deactivated. Dirty big cruise ship lying there. The other islands of the Whit Sundays. Have we got something landing? Is he still on the display? He is. He's seven feet, seven hundred, six hundred feet below us. Two thousand feet, and we've uh, we screwed that as well, Georgie. Autopilot off. Your damper off. Might hear some cracks of thunder happening here, folks. We've got a storm about to hit. Jeez, it's been an interesting day. Well, that aircraft's not going to land at Hamo at all. What's he doing? This looks like he's overflying. He's led us astray. Gee, this is what I pay you for. My flying's leading us astray here. Bloody Nora. That's terrible. We're going to take uh, gear and a bit of flap. As one of the one of the dogs decides that she needs to wrap herself up in my legs, which means sitting on my rudder pedals, as the storm hits overhead. That's going to make for a, an interesting arrival, little one. But if that's what it takes to make you feel a little bit safer, then I'm happy to accommodate. It just puts a lot of pressure <laughs> and kind of restricts my movement. Oh, folks, the joys of the joys of real life, reality simming, is what I'm calling it. An oblique base leg here, an oblique final to runway three to Hamilton Island. Oh, she's really struggling, the little one. She is in a is in a panic. <laughs> oh well, take full flap. This is how it is. It's been one of those days. We'll get these four flights done. This will be three out of four. We push on and we're going to land with a tailwind. Yeah, I really thought that other aircraft was going to land runway three too. Because that's what the the wind would favour, but that's not the case at all. 95 knots, a little bit, uh, little bit hot. And we're definitely high. Oh boy. We'll float this one out as well. This has been an absolute masterclass in how not to fly this aeroplane, folks. My, my sincere apologies. I'll kick it a little bit straight with rudder as we land. Keep it on the centre line. There we go. It's probably the most accurate I've tracked the centre line in the last year. A little bit of braking. We'll get off right at the end here. There's a taxiway. Off to the right hand side. Which is here. There we go. Oh, I don't know about that terminal. Yeah, actually, I'd, I'm, I'm thinking that 
the, the custom freeware version might be a little bit better than what uh, our friends at Asobo have done for us here. But look, I wanted to see it, and uh, you're seeing it as I see it, folks. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll pull in over here because we can. I'll hang a tight a tight lefty, get ourselves positioned for a departure off of one four. So it will stop there. Parking brake will come on. Righto, another flight complete, folks. Three out of four. Next leg, short trip over to Whitsunday Coast Airport, otherwise known as Proserpine. All right, so the concluding leg of this journey, folks. Let's start the fight in the client. Fight, flight. We've got three passengers going across to uh, Whitsunday Coast Airport. We've got a babysitter. A box of cat food and another just ordinary passenger. That's um I thought we had more people wanting to go to uh Proserpine. Anyway, that'll do us. We're gonna make it happen folks. Um so flight plan wise, where are we? Flight plan options, delete that, and we're gonna go from Hamo to with Sunday Coast, B, P, N, Sunday Coast, all of 24 nautical miles of it. So we'll scoot across the uh, scoot across the hills here. I think we won't even plug in an altitude, Georgie. Flaps can come up to take off. We're going to depart off runway 14. Nice short taxi. Flaps are set. Landing lights I haven't changed. <laughs> They've been on the whole time. Taxi past the old mate here. Yeah, so I'm going to reactivate the uh, custom freeware rendition of, of Hamilton Airport, I think, for future journeys. Uh, Whitsunday Coast Airport is another one that received the makeover treatment. Ooh, listen to that. Big crack of thunder. All the dogs will be, will be going off at that one. No one's going to enjoy that. Serious storms build up in quick, quick time. My apologies for the barking, folks, but this is a lesson in, well, persistence. <laughs> Let's go. Runway 14, Hamilton Island departing. Power set. Three packs. About half tanks. We're good. Nice long strip here. Through 70, we'll rotate about 80, which is about there. Let's go. There we go. Try and fly it in balance. A little challenging with the dog laying across my uh, my shins. <laughs> Gear up and flaps can come up as well. We, uh, we persist. That was one of the other dogs. Besides that he's, uh, he's announcing his presence, or his discomfort. With the uh, with the thunder, and it's absolutely bucketing down. All happening. A right-hand turn out towards Proserpine, folks, and that'll uh, that'll conclude today's today's flying. We will have made I don't know. I think something like nine or ten grand of virtual dollars here in FS economy. Which, uh, which helps to uh, pay the monthly uh, fees on this aircraft. There we go, across the hills, we'll scoot as low as we can. We might fly, we might hand fly this whole thing. Why not? Because we can. Probably because we should. The view out the windscreen right now is very, very different to the view outside my window. Quite a contrast. Take some scenic shots, eh? Although that's not particularly scenic. That is. Oh! Where's Jude gone? What's going on? Jude? Uh, Jude? She's disappeared on me. How's that happened? <laughs> she was there a minute ago. 
I can't get it back. Jude! Is this the end? You've left me. We got to Hamilton Island. You ditched the old fella. You're looking for a, a rich sugar daddy. Oh, I don't blame you. I'm neither rich nor would anyone term me in any way, shape or form sugary. <laughs> Salty, maybe. Salty old bastard. Yeah, I've been, I've been called that before. Jude's left me. Oh, this is devastating. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do without her. I have, ne I have not experienced that before. Jude just disappearing. There must be a, there must be a cause. Maybe it's got... Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Folks, you're seeing it live. That is a lightning strike in the vicinity. <laughs> That's real close. Holy moly. Folks, I'm going to pause that. That, uh, that sounded like she's in the neighbourhood. I'll pause it and I'll see you in uh, at the Winsudsay Coast Airport for an approach, folks. Well, folks, my apologies for uh, <laughs> that uh, un uh, unplanned break in transmission. That was bloody close, that lightning strike. She's, um... Yeah... It's been a day of adventure, unexpected adventure. All sorts of things happening today. It's, uh, yeah, it's one of those days. And uh, now it is incredibly warm again after that storm has passed through. I had to pause this in for a bit, head outside to check for damage. Thankfully, uh, nothing obvious, at least in, uh, at least in my yard. But someone's, someone's going to have a tree missing. <laughs> or a tree that wasn't isn't as tall as it used to be, at least. And hopefully that's the extent of the damage, because uh, you've got some pretty, pretty big bloody um, vegetation around here. Pretty tall vegetation. And when it falls down, it tends to uh, crush roofs and cars and different things. And we just hope that that hasn't, hasn't happened. Still got some thunder around. Hopefully the worst of the lightning has passed us by. But the temperature dropped by about 10 degrees and now it's risen back to where it was. It's heck of a day, weather-wise. All happening. Jude's left me. Jude's pulled a bloody Roy and... What's his name? Siegfried and Roy treatment on me. A David Copperfield, even. We've got storms happening. We've got all sorts of stuff. Phones ringing. Dogs barking. A poor old bastard. He just wants to uh, do a bit of flying after a world update. Make a bit of virtual coin. Make a video. Talk some garbage. But uh, the universe is conspiring, or has conspired to make that quite a challenge today. Anyway, we got here. This is leg four. We have persisted, and we're going to make this happen. Thank you, Betty. We're going to land with a crosswind and probably a bit of tailwind to boot. Well, that's okay, and we're damn slow. It'll be the first time we actually approach at the proper speed, though. <laughs> Out of the four legs. Here at the Whitsunday Coast Airport, folks, we're now a bit higher. Runway 29 by the looks of it. Crosswind from the right-hand side. Right, oh, here we go. Over the threshold, into the flare. There he goes, hold him off a little bit. A little bit of left boot, a little bit of wing down. There we go, keep him on the centre line. There we go. The last two landings have been remarkable in terms of their proximity to the centre line. Impressed by that. So we'll taxi to the terminal here, folks. Um, there should be a taxiway towards the end. This is another one of Asobo's made over airports. the flaps coming up as we go. Here's a taxiway. A little bit of braking. There we go. Around the corner. Can we get the rudder pedals to behave? No. We're suddenly going out to the left. Don't know why. I'm not depressing the left pedal. Alright. There we go. Towards the terminal. Yeah, look. That's ordinary. 
Um, look, it's probably better than it was, but towns will impress me with the with the makeover of the default airport. But uh, since then, yeah, Hamilton Island not so much in this one. Yeah, nah. But it's better than it was, so I guess we should be uh, we should be grateful for that. I'll pull in here, folks. Just because I bloody well can. There we go. Parking brake will be set. Which will trigger FS economy. That's it. We're done. Your aircraft is still rented because there are uncompleted assignments. I don't know why. Where to? Because I'm done for the day. <laughs> I'm going to pay attention to what the universe is uh, showing me. Folks, thanks for your company on another video. Four leg FS economy adventure. It had it all. It had it all. I, uh, I hope that this seat is filled next time we meet, but um, who knows? Folks, we'll see you next time.